Hey everyone, this is Alex or PolyMomoT, and today I have a video showing how to make this Legend of Zelda Life Heart Shaker, and I'm also including some tutorials on how to make some other Legend of Zelda iconic items as well. I am using materials that I got from my Sophie and Toffee Elves box, and here are the materials that came in the box. I did not use all of the materials included, but I did try to incorporate as much as I can. So for the first part, for the resin heart shaker, I'm taking my resin mold and I'm filling it up with UV resin. And I'm mixing some light blue craft pigment into it to give it that glassy light blue look that the light parts have. Then I'm putting on the cap and I'm curing the resin in some UV light. Once cured, I'm taking off the mold and I'm making sure I'm getting rid of the excess pieces on the borders and I'm going to use the same mold to make a second half of the heart. Then to give it the pink look, I'm adding some various glitters and I'm putting a lot of pink and red into it to give it that nice red pink shade. Next I'm putting UV resin on the border of my heart and with a paintbrush I'm spreading it thinly across the border. And finally I'm adding my second half of the heart mold onto my shaker charm and letting that cure completely and once cured I'm adding water using a syringe into my heart and I'm filling it all the way. To seal up the resin shaker, I'm adding some UV resin towards the hole and letting that cure completely. Here's the final product and as you can see it does retain the paint very well and it does remind me of the Legend of Zelda life hearts. So next we're going to make the bomb and to make the bomb we're going to take some dark blue clay and roll into a ball. And then we're going to take the same dark blue clay, roll into a cylinder, and then cut off a nice little slice. And that'll be like the tip of the bomb. And we're going to place that on top of our ball. And in order to make the like little stringy part, I'm taking some white clay that I'm rolling and twisting together. Cutting off a thin piece, poking a hole in the top of my bomb, and I'm adding it like so. So next to make an ocarina, I'm taking some light blue clay and I'm pinching it into like a sweet potato shape. It reminds me of a sweet potato or like a kind of a long skinny lemon. And to make the handle, you want to make the same shape of the sweet potato but slightly smaller and cut off a little nub and blend that onto the bottom of your ocarina. And then using a dotting tool, I'm adding six dots. And finally, I'm adding some little black dots and I'm blending it in with my dotting tool. Next, we're going to be using some clay that I got from the Soaking Toffee Box. And this is their translucent clay. It's a little bit hard to condition because it's kind of dry and hard. But it wasn't as bad as some of the female clays. And I added a little bit of green to give it a nice translucent green color to make the ruby. So I'm going to roll it flat and I'm cutting it into a hexagon shape. Then 
then to give it that gem look, I'm just going to slice off the corners of the rupee. And I'm carefully slicing off the front of the rupee as well. To make the boss key, I'm taking the same translucent clay and I'm carving it out into the shape of the key. And for the red gem, I'm adding a little bit of red clay and I'm slicing out a little skull shape. For the Triforce, I'm taking the same translucent clay and I'm cutting three equal sized triangles and I'm blending them together. I'm dusting both of these pieces with some Pearlex gold powder. And I'm adding the little red gem piece onto my boss key. And I'm going to bake according to instructions, and I think it said to bake it at 120 to 130 Celsius, so that's about 250 Fahrenheit for about 13 to 15 minutes, so that's what I did. So it's pretty similar to the average if you took Fimo and Primo together. And here are the finished baked pieces of clay. And I'm using their super gloss that they included in their Sophie and Toffee box to give it a nice glaze. dried here are the pieces and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I definitely had fun making a lot of Legend of Zelda charms it's been a long time since I played Legend of Zelda so some of these items were kind of a throwback for me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I am including the links to the Sophie and Toffee box in the description box below so I hope you check that out and let me know what kind of amazing heart shaker charms you'll be making in the future and I know mine's a little bit simple because it's just clearly resin and glitter, but I did want to make a Legend of Zelda kind of themed video and I thought this would be perfect for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.